So again, I want you guys doing the escape each time. So that first one is where you knock them back to a hip. That's like the, uh, the more sort of like typical way to do it. But this next way is, it's, first of all, it's illegal in a lot of competitions. Um, but it's still, it usually means that it's more effective. So what you want to do is you want to, you're going to reap, you're going to bring your legs across, which in most competitions is illegal, right? Um, unless you're a brown or black belt. But this also puts a lot of pressure on his knee, right? So I'm going to reap across. I'm going to stretch out. I'm going to use that to choke my grip up on his ankle, right? And then I'm just going to clamp down. I'm going to bring my right shoulder towards the floor. And I'm going to continue to go like belly down here. And now from here, I just go belly down. I start to push my hips down and pull my elbow back. So when we get here, instead of taking the person over, you're just going to bring both feet across to this side. So I push and I make space. You should be putting like a pressure on the inside of his knee here. And as I'm doing that, my grip is sliding up. And you should already be, when, you, when you're really going for this, you're applying the pressure here. You're trying to get his foot like from here. The only thing, if he doesn't tap from this, he'll start to turn. He goes to turn and then he ends up belly down. And this is where it gets really tight. To finish, you keep your hands nice and tight to your body and just slide your hips into the back of his leg and draw your elbow back. So we escape the arm bar, he comes up, I get my foot in position and now I just immediately start to push and stretch and bring and reap across. Slide your grip up high on the ankle. This one, if you see, like um, it can be tough to hold on here. You can really do this with one hand and just hip down to finish. All right.